Hi lovelies, so I did my hair for you guys again today. So anyways, today on my mind, um, pretty much nothing else is mattering to me today. My body, I don't care. But one of my dearest friends, um, you have those friends that you would literally take a bullet for and you know without a doubt would take a bullet for you. And um, that's just a special kind of friend that that bond can never be broken. And um, one of my friends is going through a really difficult time and has been talking about suicide and um, it's just really... I want to talk about it. Um, I know I've talked about being suicidal and having suicidal ideation and um, this is a topic that I want to talk about as much as possible because people don't want to talk about it. And um, only until after it happens and you wonder like what happened like uh, it's just it's one of those things that is very hard to explain or talk about if you haven't been through it. Um, I've been there and I have convinced myself that my friends wouldn't care that I, I convinced myself that my parents would probably be pretty sad for like a year and then they would start like traveling and like spending all this money that they had that they didn't like use to support me and um, it's really crazy how dark and just delusional you can get that like you don't matter and it's it's so difficult because it's so hard to explain to someone that is thinking this way that they do matter and the only thing that I could say to my friend was you have to keep living that's it you just have to because if you don't it would devastate my life. I would never recover from it, ever. And um, sometimes we don't know what to say to people and we don't know what to do. And I think the most important thing for me is to pray for that person and to let them know that they just have to live. They have to get through each minute of each day I don't care how miserable you are. I don't care if it sucks. I don't care how painful it is. You have to live because people have to be reminded that they matter and that if they took their lives, that it would devastate people. When I was in high school, a friend of my mom that she worked with, her son committed suicide. I knew it was kind of like three degrees of separation, um, but I his brother was in my grade. I mean, there's like almost a thousand people. I think there was like a thousand people in my grade, so there's a ton of people in my grade, and I knew him not well, but um, but I didn't know the kid at all. And it, his suicide still comes up in my life. Um, so this complete stranger that um, took their lives, it, his, that his suicide still affects me and I didn't even know him. Um, so it matters, your life matters. And that situation still hurts me when I think about it and what went on. And um, if one of my dearest friends did that, I don't know what I would do. And I just make that clear. I'm not going to dance around it. I'm not going to say, you know, you matter and you're just so important and God loves you. And, you know, all those things are great to say to someone. But when you're in that state, you just don't really believe anybody. So all I can do is just say, you, you matter. You have a purpose whether you know it or not. Um, and you have to keep living you have to there is no choice you have to get through the misery you have to or else you will ruin my life and sometimes just that one grasp can keep you here because I had had myself so convinced that my brother would be happy if I was gone 
my parents would mourn for a year and then go on vacations. None of my friends would, you know, a couple weeks and then they would go on with their lives. But my dog, that's the one grasp I had, is that what would my dog do if I was gone? Because we have family animals, but Bella is mine. And I've had her for a really, quite some time now. And I don't know why. I know she's God's, a godsend. Um, but that's the one string that would just keep a thread of me to just doubt that I would, that my death would have no influence on the world. Sometimes that's all you need is to get through the days for someone else until you can get through the days for yourself. And I just pray that for my friend that, um, that, uh, he keeps, he keeps it here on this earth for me until he can get through the misery and, um, be on this earth for himself and enjoy this life and, um, just a wonderful person that he is. So if you're the praying type, please pray for him. And um, I'm not going to apologize for being emotional about this. Um, if you have any stories, if you've experienced suicidal thoughts yourself, if you are experiencing suicidal thoughts, please comment down below. Your voice matters. And what you say matters so much, so much that we'll never even probably know how much our voice matters. Um, so comment below. It's a safe place to talk about what's going on in your life or um, someone you know. Um, but suicide is not something I want quiet anymore. Um, it needs to be something we talk about. And um, I know I kept quiet and shameful about it for a very long time. And... Uh, I just always go back to the A saying you're only as sick as your secrets and it's something that we need to talk about and um, otherwise the person just gets deeper and deeper and deeper into these delusions that they don't matter and they can't make it through this life. We all have miseries in this life and um, I have two people that I love like parents right now that are going through more than any other person I know in my life has gone through pretty much and if they can hang on then you know I can hang on my friends can hang on we can all hang on because what's being put on them the loss I it's just I can't even emphasize I can't even empathize with it because I can't even my head my head can't even go there so it does get better you can do it. You can get through every breath, every minute, every hour, doing each day until it gets better. Because Lord knows I've been to the darkest places there are and I have come out of it. It's taken a long, long time of counting the minutes, seconds sometimes of every minute of every day that goes by. But um, yeah, if you have any stories or questions or anything, please put that in the comments down below. Um, the giveaway is still going on. I'm really excited. You guys are excited. Um, but I really can't think about anything else but this right now. So, um, um, sorry for the downer, but uh, that's my life. One day is smiles and sunshine, and the next is prayers. So, um, thank you for your prayers, and I hope you're having a pain-free, stress-free day. Sending out X double O's, and I hope you guys are having a good day. And as always, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.